KSTK is here now with an update on the weekend storms. We want our weekend plans, but we got to factor in this weather, right? You have to dodge a few drops. I think they will have a passing shower here between now and sunset, but it will be rather light. We're seeing that the rain keeps uh, dying down as it moves into this stable air that's in place because we've had that cool lake breeze all day and our high temperature only made it to 72 for a high. Normally we should be at 82. We'll get there, but not until Sunday. So we were cooler than normal and right now we are looking live at Soldier Field and we have clouds there. A six 69 degree temperature at O'Hare, but with that east wind at 10, it's feeling cooler if you are going to Lake Shake or to Soldier Field. And I wanted to turn on the radar and just watch for those showers at the lakefront. We do see some to the west, but what's going to help is this cool breeze we're getting off the lake. And it's 66 right now in Hyde Park, 65 degrees in Evanston. The North Shore is a little cool in Highland Park with 59. It's 66 in Glenview and 68 degrees in Elgin. So as we go through the weekend, we may have have a few showers in lingering into your Saturday morning because I think after midnight we could have storms refire linger showers in the morning, but most of the day should be dry through the early evening. Once the sun goes down, we're going to watch those chances for gusty storms to increase Saturday night right into Sunday, and some of those could be strong or severe. So I think through 8 a.m. tomorrow, maybe close to 11 a.m. in the morning, we could have a leftover shower. Then we'll have many dry hours all afternoon. When the sun goes down, there is a chance, just a small chance of a thunderstorm, but it increases Saturday night and then it's with us on Sunday, especially as we move through the heat of the afternoon and on radar right now. We see that very light rain lining up from DeKalb to Aurora to Kankakee. But as I mentioned before, with that cool lake breeze, it is weakening where we have the best instability is far to our south around Carbondale and Evansville heading all on the south side of Indianapolis where those gusty storms are traveling to the east. You can see how they're moving from west to east and that cool breeze is breaking down the northern edge of the this system. So over the next 24 hours, what I expect to see is a rain shower or thunderstorm chance overnight, and then it leaves us for much of the day. And then as we get into Saturday night, right through the day Sunday, that's going to be the height, I think, of the storm activity. So precipitation chances will go up at well after midnight, probably between about 2 a.m. and daybreak. That's when we'll see the thunderstorm chances, then just a leftover shower before that departs on Saturday afternoon. So we'll watch high pressure still continue to break down these showers and then in the morning we'll watch low pressure start to move in a little bit closer. So really at any time Saturday night right through Sunday, some of these storms could be moving through bringing us those damaging winds and large hail with the strongest storm. So we'll be watching for that as low pressure moves over Wisconsin by Sunday evening. So the Storm Prediction Center does have us under marginal risk for the southwest suburbs as we go through the day tomorrow, but most of that is for the night and then on Sunday still areas south of I 80 could see those gusty storms. So high temperatures are going to be going up. So I think the big difference, Erica, on the weekend is Saturday, you'll have a cool lake breeze. So 60s lakeside. Sunday, everybody gets a turn to warm up, even in the city with highs in the 80s. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.